Welcome to Thai Tech. My name is Emmanuel Cyprian, and in this video, I'll be sharing with you the Risk Management Framework Step 3, which is the select step according to the updated NIST 837 Revision 2. Like we all know, the Risk Management Framework has seven steps, and select step is the third step. So in this video, I want to share with you what are the newly updated security control families that has just been added to the security controls. In our previous uh, video, which talks about NIST 837 Revision 1, there are 18 control families. But now, according to 837 Revision 2, there are 20 control families. So I want to explain to you the newly added security control families. And I also want to explain to you the task in this newly updated NIST publication. Before we get into details of those controls, let us check out the purpose of this step three. The purpose of step three, which is the select step, is to select, tailor, and document the controls necessary to protect the information system and organization commensurate with risk to organizational operations and assets, individuals, other organizations, and the nation. Which means that before we get to this particular step three, we must have prepared, we must have categorized our system. So it is based on what we categorize our system, either high impact system, moderate impact system, or low impact system, that will determine the security controls we will be selecting to protecting that system. So that is what this select step is talking about. So in this step, the purpose of it is to select the recommended security controls and then tailor those controls to fit the environment, to fit the organization, to fit the system and document those controls in the system security plan. So that is the purpose of this select step. Now, let's look at the updated task according to NIST 837 Revision 2. There are six tasks under the select step. Task number one is control selection. Task number two is control tailoring. Tax number three is control allocation. Tax number four is documentation of plan control implementation. Tax number five is continuous monitoring strategy at the system level. Tax number six is plan review and approval. So what does this tax mean? Tax number one means that you select the recommended security control based on the categorization of your system. Tax number two is saying that control tailoring, it means tailor the control to fit your organization, tailor the control to fit your environment, tailor the control to fit the system, not all the controls that were selected that will be implemented. So there is the need to tailor meaning remove any controls that does not fit your own internal environment and the system. Task number three is saying control allocation. Now, what it means is allocating the security controls to various system components within the system and within the organization. Task number four, documentation of planned control implementation. It means Document the controls you have planned to implement inside the security and privacy plan. So document it. Remember, in IT, whatsoever we did not document, we did not do. So documentation is very important. And then task number five, continuous monitoring strategy at the system level. 
This means that we should incorporate monitoring strategy on how to ensuring that the controls that we have implemented are effective. It is not enough to implement the control. It is equally important to implement a monitoring strategy to ensure the effectiveness of the control over time. And then tax number six is talking about plan review and approval. What is plan review and approval? It means security and privacy plan. Security and privacy plan, this is the stage, this is the step where the security and privacy plan is reviewed and approved. Now, if you remember very well, this security and privacy plan is initiated at the categorization step. And at the select step is where this plan is reviewed and approved. So these are the tasks under the select step. And then let us look at the NIST publications for the select step. There are two NIST publications for the select step. I want you to pay close attention. There are two NIST publications for the select step. Now, SP 853 revision 5, which is the security and privacy controls for information systems and organization. That is the NIST publication where you will see all the necessary security controls and requirements. And then SP 853B, which is control baseline for information systems and organization. This is the NIST publication that states the recommended security control baselines for a high system, for moderate system, and for low system. So in actual sense, NIST 853B is the NIST publication you will go to to selecting your recommended security control. And if you want detail of the security control requirement, then you go to NIST 853 revision 5. So these are the two NIST publications that is relating to selection of security controls. So if you want details of this, how to select the control, please check out my video on self-paced training, RMF training. Here, in those videos, I talked about details, hands-on, regarding each of the RMF steps. Now, lastly, on this select step, let's look at the, the control families. Like I told you earlier on, there are 20 control families in this updated NIST 853B. There are 20 control families. Now, previously, it has been 18 control families, but with the updated NIST publication, it is now 20 control families. So these are the control families. Access control, awareness and training, audit and accountability, assessment, authorization and monitoring, configuration management, contingency planning, identification and authentication, incidents response, maintenance, media protection, physical and environmental protection, planning, program management, personnel security, PII processing and transparency. This is one of the controls that were control families that was recently added. Risk assessment, system and service acquisition, system and communication protection, system and information integrity, supply chain risk management. This is the second control families that was recently added to these control families. So to make it 20 control families. So these are the things you need to pay attention to when it comes to select security controls. Now, if you want details of how to select these security controls, hands-on documentation on SSP SAR POEM. Now, give me a call or check out my self-paced video, which I will put in the description, you know, a section of this video. The self-paced video is a recording of my live classes and uh, there are a total of seven videos. Reach out to me for at least for a discount of the prices for this video. Now, if this video 
has been helpful to you, please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, like my video, and turn on your notification button so you can be getting updated content from Tytech Consulting. Thank you very much.